Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. Alright, hello! Hi! It's me, Fishile, and today is not just another day that we're going to continue playing Lost Judgment. Today, at the time of the stream, was Patch Day. 6.5 of Final Fantasy XIV just came out. And I just finished doing all the things that I personally wanted to do on it. And so here we are now because I was going to stream this yesterday. But that didn't happen because I decided to work on other things. Mainly the Sonic and Devil May Cry video essays. Neither of which are anywhere near done. But I have begun the process. And that is what matters. And so... With that out the way, we are going to continue the game. Now I did do a few things here and there. Most of it was just getting SP and stuff like that. Uh, I did get my hands on a couple of skill books. I did do like one or two side cases. Uh, I was looking for the play park place. So I could do the, um, that dice game again. I never found it. So I'm guessing there's more things that I have to do to unlock it, or it's just not ready to be played yet. Either way, we are going to keep pushing the story because I've been putting the story off for quite some time. So, just like last stream, I'm probably going to do this chapter and the following chapter and then when I get to chapter 6 I'll probably call it there so the game plan is to do chapter 4 and chapter 5 and then that'll be it and then that VOD will also get thrown up on YouTube because well, actually, this is a little bit of, uh, I guess, Fischial lore, as far as make content stuff goes. When I first started doing this whole thing, um, I was like, oh, haha, I'm gonna do Let's Plays, and whatever, whatever. Uh, I did, like, one and a half, but because I wasn't the most pleased with it, I just let that idea fall to the wayside. And... I've also learned that in doing that, there is a certain caliber of Let's Play that I was trying to emulate that I wasn't doing very well. So I decided, you know what? Nah, I'm not going to do that. And if there's a game where I just want to upload the VODs of, then that's how that's going to be. And that will be my Let's Play, I suppose. And so with these, instead of doing the whole, like, what a waste. I don't know, script, because some, some people that I watched back in the day, their Let's Plays had scripts and whatever, like they'd record the gameplay, and then they talk over said gameplay. I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to play the game, talk while the game is running, and whatever comes up my mouth is whatever comes up my mouth. And if it works, it works. People like it, cool. If people don't like it, also cool, because I like it. Because, again, my golden rule for doing the whole content and streaming thing is that if you don't like what you're doing, you're doing something wrong. And there you go. Hey, what's up, Emma? What's poppin', bruh? Doing a test. Get off. Come back to the stream later. Do your... Do your test drive first. Assuming you're in an actual car. Factory room's on the second floor, right? Yes. Who the hell is this? Why am I able to talk to you? Excuse ah. me. Huh? Yeah. You're parked. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. 
<laughs> this dude is a fucking creep. And he's been on screen for not even a full minute. Excuse me. I don't like his laugh. I don't like his voice lines either. Huh. Damn, bruh. You gotta walk in your parallel on your backwards park when feeling like everything down. Hey, good! That's what we like to hear. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I got a new dance move. Neat, I guess. He just, it sounded like he did, but he did not. Excuse me, Yagami san? Hi. Huh? Koda san, what's up? Did a teacher call you over? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Does somebody okay. need to be buried? I saw it on the news earlier. Mikoshiba sensei was killed. Ah. You already knew that, didn't you? Uh huh. Yeah. I did, but I couldn't tell you. <sighs> I figured you knew something. Yes, that's why you've been asking about him. You should have told us, man. Couldn't do that. I couldn't. I knew how hard you guys would have taken it. <sighs> you know who did it? I'm trying to find that out. I mean a lot for us to know. Seeing how he looked after us and all. We're still in the dark about that, mostly. Unless you guys have any leads. All we have to go on is he was probably killed soon after he stopped going to class. So... He really was murdered. Uh-huh. Sadly. Said on TV, it took them two months to find the body. Did that mean it happened on the day he went missing? A good theory, Matsun, but you're starting to sound like one of those mystery club geeks. Hey, watch yourself. What did Sawa-sensei tell you? She give you anything solid? No, she won't tell me we shit. We didn't really get into it yesterday. Way too many uh, other things came up. Damn. It's just... It's hard hearing all this, man. Will you at least keep us posted if you find out anything? No I guess. Promises, I'm afraid. But hey, I'm glad you guys are warming up to me. I'm Matsui, by the way. That's more like it. <laughs> Could you keep me in the loop, too? I didn't like Mikoshiba sensei much, but I never imagined this. That's how life gets you. Kind of conflicted about the whole thing. I get that. Anyway, I should get going. Bye bye now. All right, Sawa. You you need to talk. You need to talk to me right now. Hey, Sawa Sensei. Look. I know I can't keep you off campus. I don't have that kind of authority. Goddamn right. But would you please stop bothering me? I'm trying to... Mm. Can you at least tell me what happened yesterday? Enough! How many times must I repeat myself? Motherfucker, I'm trying to help! It's my job! Jesus. Ugh. Fine. Hey, Tsukumo, it's me. You think you could pin down where Mikoshiba's body was discovered? Of course. In fact, I could do that pretty quickly. Why? Did you want to go there now? That's the idea. Okay, but do note that it's been a few days since they found him. The police may have already scooped up the evidence. Yeah, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Then I can decide if it was a waste of time. Mm hmm <laughs> In other words, you've got a detective's intuition? What a superpower to have. Okay, here we go. They found Mikoshiba's body in an abandoned building near Sakura River. It's near a small park. On the second floor of the building, specifically. The first floor is just a bunch of empty boutiques. Okay. Hey man, Sukumo. Thanks. 
Let's see if that gets me anything. Now, don't get me wrong, right? I understand that her being extra stressed out and being shown something that would, like, inflict the fear of God in her or something. I get that she really wouldn't be willing to talk like that. However, if you know that I'm a detective and you know that my whole thing is trying to help out and trying to get to the bottom of all this shit, you can at least say something. Granted, again, I understand, you know, she was threatened with whoever that woman was, which, by the way, I have to make an addendum, um, or a correction, or whatever the fuck. Uh, in the last part, the last time I streamed this, the lady that spoke Excuse at the end me. with the shades, I mistakenly said the, uh, the Jingwon Mafia, um, when I believe she was a part of, uh, the, the Yokohama Liumong. And I was, I was so focused on uh, slowly realizing that this takes place after Like a Dragon that I didn't even factor in that the that the Komi Joel or the Leomong would still be around. So uh, that's my mistake, but now I know. Now I know. I was trying to jump over that person, but that did not work. Alright. Come on. Really, guys? And also, I've come to realize that in my SP farming, over the last few days, uh, you don't get that much SP with uh, the boxing fighting style. But you know what, that's okay, because I like using the boxing style. And it's not like I'm never in a position where I'm not gonna get SP from fighting things. Alright, so they boarded the place up already, meaning I gotta climb my way inside. not getting in through up there and I'm not going past this point all right oh there we go farther than here so oh what the I need to go that away. That's too unstable to get across. So logic, well, not logically. Normally, you would think to start over here, but huh? No, what? 
No, that's a horrible idea. Let's see. You're not gonna make it jump up there, but that's not a trigger. A bullet? Hmm. That hmm. could be useful later. What the? It's always the AC unit so far. There's probably going to come a point in time where I need to upgrade my grip, uh, meter. Hmm. Okay. Cool. be very bad if this collapsed I would also like to know how all this got destroyed huh. nice not meant to oh am I supposed to go over there and then go up yes I am Man, why can't all detectives be this cool? Alright, made it inside. I got 2,000 SP for that? Anybody here? Damn. Coming through. Now, where exactly was the body? There's got to be some clues that'll give me that. It was right there. Well, yeah, it was right there. I was thinking I have to reference the picture, even though I remembered where the body was based off the picture. Uh, how do I get down? Not going that way. Is there a safe way to get down from here? Or do I just have to gun it? I don't think there's a safe way to get down from here, so I'm just gonna walk off. Huh? Are these burn marks? From those flares that were there. Okay. That's it? Is there anything else to look at? <laughs> that looks like a no. the hell hey I heard something damn it 
Who's there? Hi. State your name and purpose. Uh, well... Get some backup over here. Hey, now wait a second. Could we maybe talk this out? Put your hands up and turn around. I haven't even done anything yet. Who are you and what were you up to? Are you really putting cops on me, man? Takayuki Yagami. The Yagami Detective Agency. That's me. Yeah, in Kamurocho. Were you the guy at Serio yesterday? Yeah. I could have sworn I saw your face there. You was looking at me all crazy. Thought I was going to piece uh, you up. Maybe. The name's Watanabe. Kanagawa PD Division 1. Charmed, I'm sure. Huh. All right. This fella here is Sakurai. Sup? <laughs> so, you think barging into a crime scene was a real bright idea? What? I thought you guys were done here. I figured I could take a look around. Uh huh. What? I'm telling the truth. You wouldn't happen to be working with Genda Law, would you? Uh huh. You hear on Shirosaki Sensei's business? Saori Shirosaki, right? Grouchy one. The best okay, one. You know? Well, it started when Miko Shiba's body turned up. Once our investigation kicked off, we found out about that pervert cop in Tokyo. It seems he knew where the body was buried. But when we went to go see him, HQ pumped the brakes. They said no interviews on this one. Much to our amusement, we ended up being directed to Shirosaki, the perv's lawyer. Huh. So being that Genda Law Office is in Kamrocho, and you're a Kamrocho detective working your case, that means either the two of you are connected, <laughs> or I'm really losing my touch. Well, you've certainly got my number. Now that you know, how about taking these cuffs off? Yeah, they're kind of uncomfortable. Smooth, but the jury's still out on you, pal. First, you got any thoughts on all that? On anything specific? The part about HQ locking us out of interviewing a horror smart guy. Here we are with a material witness who it turns out knew about a corpse rotting away for two months. And those Tokyo chuckleheads just shut us out. Yeah, that is kind of weird. For those tight asses. Ahara was Tokyo PD, so wouldn't they want to protect him? They probably want it handled discreetly. But uh, no. That simple. So, this isn't about protection. I mean, something like a, something like a groping case. Uh, I feel like. Well, I mean. I mean, given how you know actual cops are and how they cover that shit up and get away with it, that's something that you wouldn't expect to go down like that. But at the same time. They usually do their damnness to protect their own, even when they don't really have to. They get burnt real bad if they tried to bury this shit under the rug. Besides, I mean, he's this cop of nasty creep. He's got ties to a fucking murder. Right. Another prefecture blows the lid on that. The top brass may as well kiss their jobs goodbye. Heads would roll. They've got to wash the shit stains off their laundry to keep their asses clean. Yeah, I could see how that makes sense. Anyway, so HQ told us their boys would look into Ahara. What we had to do was hand them our notes on the murder. Can you believe that crap? Like hell we're gonna bend over for them. But look where that's got us. Now nobody's interrogated Ahara. Are Kanagawa and Tokyo PD really fighting over who gets the credit? Don't tell me they're that petty. <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. While the higher-ups play intel hoarding games, Ahara is just sitting pretty. Shit. The cop's supposed to be chasing down the perps. Instead, here I am with my hands tied, bitching to a P.I. So I'm your therapist now. <laughs> I was gonna take you down to the station and put the squeeze on you. But if you're a half-decent detective, maybe we can collaborate. I am more than a half-decent detective, yeah, I'll have you know. You came all the way from Kamurocho to sniff around here, right? I highly doubt you found much. But tell me something I don't know, and maybe the cuffs will fall off. You proposing a deal? 
depends on if what you've got is worth making one. <laughs> okay, what would he want to know? Well, I've only got three options. Huh. Um... This is the only correct answer, right? It has to be. Okay. How about this? What the hell? Hiro Mikoshima. Was this taken here? Right before he died? Where did you get this? What kind of shit you trying to pull? I could tell you better with the cuffs off. <laughs> I like Yagami so Fine. much. <laughs> All right, let me get this straight. Right before you met up with this Serio High teacher, a strange woman showed up with this photo. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't get a good look at her, but it seems whatever threat she made worked. Sawa Sensei wouldn't say a thing after that. Saw was the one who supervised Mikoshiba for his student teaching program. I know that. So, this woman you're talking about must have had it in with the culprits. You know, they were working in a group. That's quite a revelation. What makes you so sure about that? Sakurai, show him the photo of the body. And spare me the protocol lecture. I'm sick of this going nowhere. <laughs> if Hotshot here is going to look into Ahara for us, we may as well take advantage of it. You're the boss, Nabi-san. Whoa. Miko Shiba was last seen alive two months ago, October 7th, 6.30 a.m. He was talking to his mother as he exited their house back in the city. Since there were no other sightings of him, it's likely he was abducted a short ways from his home. This had to be done by vehicle, as common sense would tell us. So there must have been at least two suspects, a driver and a handler. If it were me, I'd have put three on the job. So that's why you figured it was a group effort. Sounds logical to me. Mm-hmm. Now, according to the autopsy report, they found food in the poor guy's stomach. Food? Based on how digested it was, we can assume he was killed at least an hour after breakfast, putting it around 7.30. And not long after, he was brought here. His throat was slit with a knife. But Get all that hot shot. But why? And what was our friend Ahara doing at that time? Groping the people on a train. Ahara was walking through Ikebukuro's ticket gates around 7.43 a.m. This was stated in court and corroborated by multiple security tapes. Right. But if that's true, he couldn't possibly have killed Mikoshiba. It's 30 kilometers between here and Ikebukuro. Yeah, that's the meat of his alibi. Yet somehow, he knew Mikoshiba's body would be discovered two months after his arrest, despite being in custody the whole time. Right, how the fuck? There's no doubt he's connected to the killers. If we just put the screws to him, he'd squeal. Yeah? Damn it, HQ! Why the hell are we out here working the site if it's already been picked clean? All right, Nabe-san. Deep breaths. Yeah, yeah. But do you see why we've got to get someone in to talk to Ahara? Yeah. Hell, beg Shirosaki-sensei for a visit if you have to. HQ can't say squat about his attorney visiting. Damn, he's got a good point. What you said raises some questions of my own about the crime scene and the body. Oh, yeah? Ask away, then. I noticed the burn marks on the floor in the shape of an arrow. What's with that? Somebody lit flares here. The ones that shoot red smoke. It was only a matter of time before the fire department got called, and they're the ones who stumbled on the body. Pretty obvious the culprit sent up a smoke signal to make sure the body got found. 
They probably had the timing all worked out with Ahara so he could predict the body's discovery for maximum impact. And that's exactly what he did, just as the judge handed down the sentence. What would be the point of that, though? <laughs> for all I know, he just wanted to blow everyone's minds. What shape was the body in when it was found? Fucking zombified. It's in decomposing bad. His hands were zip tied behind the chair, securing him in place. The cause of death was the throat wound, but before that, they really worked him over. Rough way for the guy to go. Damn. They even broke all his fingers. Damn. Both hands. That sounds painful. Fucked up, right? You can you say that again. Like this. Yakuza, could be Mafia, take your pick. We've got some guys checking that angle out too, just to make sure there's no stone left unturned. The only... The only Mafia that could possibly still be here would be the Gomi Jewel. But... I don't really think they should be here, though. And even then, if we entertain that line of thought, what reason would they have to go after a fucking teacher's assistant? And then there's like some small fry Yakuza here lingering about, but then there's a Yokohama Liumong, but even then, what would they have to go after a teacher assistant for? And with all that in mind, why did they work him over so hard? What was the victim's cause of death? The news called it a massive hemorrhage. Yup. They slit his throat and let him bleed to death. After tying him to a chair, the killer stood behind him, left hand, and his right hand slid the knife. Sounds like you guys have that bit on lockdown, huh? It's one of the few things we're sure of. Has the murder weapon been found? No. There were no weapons at the scene. Of course. Real shame. Might be some decisive evidence. So when you said it was a knife, was that a guess based on analyzing the wound? I wouldn't call it a guess. The coroner outright stated that the weapon was a sharp knife-like instrument. Yeah, that's a pretty logical assumption. Like, how, how else would they cut his throat off once a fucking claws or something how narrow is the window for mikoshiba's estimated time of death based on how digested his breakfast was he was killed somewhere between 7 30 and noon on the morning of october 7th hmm pretty impressed you can narrow it down like that with a two-month-old corpse yeah well the window gets much bigger if we consider the possibility that the killers forced mikoshiba to eat at any point after the kidnapping, they could have made him eat a typical Mikoshiba family breakfast. It's possible. All they had to do was make him say what he usually eats. Good. We're on the same page. Now, if we take into account the decomposition of the body, Mikoshiba's estimated time of death actually ranges from 7.30 a.m. on October 7th all the way to the end of that month. So about three weeks. It doesn't take Three that long weeks. to bleed out, though. That's a massive gap. Can't we narrow it down further? The body's just too decomposed to do that. But expand uh, the time uh. frame all you want. Ahara was in custody through the whole thing. Right. So we couldn't have done the deed. Right. He spent two months behind bars. Hate to think a different crime got him such a strong alibi. In any case, someone else killed Mikoshiba. If we could just get in the same room as him, we'd know who that is. The building owner would have nothing to do with this, right? I, I, I feel like this isn't worth asking. But at the same time... This information could come up later? Eh, whatever. Doesn't this place have a manager? I'm sure it wasn't always like this. 
There is a property owner who's been around Eugene Show forever, but the building's been deserted for two years. Okay, yep. Apparently, there was a padlock to keep the homeless out, but it was long gone by the time they found the body. Broken by the killers, most likely. All right. I think I'm starting to get the picture here. That should be it for questions. Tell me, you detectives out in Camarocho always this hands-on? Yes. Sorry, what? I'm saying you guys were quick. We had barely set foot in Serio High, and you already had the run of the place. Hell, you even closed in on that Sawa Sensei and got a meeting with her. I'm just good at my I'm job. Just lucky to have been there on another case. Is that right? Who the fuck? What? What's wrong? Somebody's spying on us with binoculars. No shit. Three men. 30s probably. The one with binoculars is wearing a black jacket. My number's on my card. Yagami! Talk to you later. Hey, wait up! Hold up. The fuck do you mean leave me alone? You were spying on me. Get your ass over here. I'm coming for that ass, boy. can't run forever, bro. I'm gonna get you. Bitch. Give me a break here. No. What? You, you, a break? Bro, you were spying on me. What do you mean, a break? hell wrong with you damn hot shot you're quick on your feet so let's hear why this fool had eyes on us he claims he just wanted to see the scene for himself bullshit it's true ask the other two guys with me they'll be here any minute so I don't believe that for a second it. Busted in like you own the place. Is that a dig at me? Water under the bridge. Come on, man. So, who are you? Why'd you run? I ran because I saw a cop jump out a window and charge at me. You would have been tied at the first two corners. <laughs> he thinks you're a cop. Should we get you a badge and a hat? I'd be honored. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? I used to run trucks. So I would have been able to keep up with the guy. Minus kicking shit at his head, Ms. Sprint, that part oh, might not work out for me. Professional pencil pusher, biotech, planning and management. Then why the hell are you here? House biologist too. No, uh, one's an investor and the other's a consultant. We all went to high school together. It says here you have a Tokyo address. What brings you to Yokohama? Oh, well, I'm organizing a class reunion uh, in Chinatown. So I came to scope out the location in advance. Uh-huh. This ain't the way to Chinatown, pal. Oh, uh, we thought since we came all the way to Yokohama, we might as well peek at the crime scene. <laughs> with binoculars. Good idea, isn't it? What the hell is wrong with you? I suppose. What high school did you all attend? Uh, Kurakawa Academy. A private school in Tokyo. 
Hmm. How convenient. Hey, over here. Only to verify your buddy's identification as well. I suggest you all cooperate. Nabisan. All right, you jokers are free to go. Appreciate you being so civil. Ain't that something? Guess that settles it. They're just dumbass rubberneckers. Huh. <laughs> Tough break, huh? Draw you in through chasing them down. I don't mind. My models to always swing for the fences. Yeah, well, your strikeout was pretty amusing. The guy who goes down swinging is all right in my book. And with that settled, give my regards to Shirosaki Sensei. We could get some dirt on Ihara soon. I will. All right. Well, that was a lot. But I, I have more questions than I do answers now, which is very funny. You son of a bitch. Hold on first. Goodbye. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I have more questions than I do answers now. The main question still being, what the hell did he know or did he do to warrant taking him out in such a gruesome fucking way? And which group, whether it be... Yakuza or Mafia or whatever is involved with taking him out. Really, guys? Because, again, like, going after a fucking teacher's assistant is wild to me. The Excuse hell are y'all doing outside my joint? Does that mean? Hmm. I'm gonna go be nosy. Uh, I guess best girl is gonna have to wait. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me. Arigato. All right. Aren't you supposed to be at home? Go home instead of being out past your curfew. What a waste. Little bastards.
When will I be able to use these coins I've been picking up? You don't make sense. No. Damn it, Sukumo. Well, huh? Hey. Yagamishi. Yep. Nice. Oh, that could have went real south. I owe you one. Hey. Uh. Hmm. Sure. Is this? Would it be that guy that we fought the other mm. day? <laughs> Okay. Signal's weak. You think I don't know that, Yagmi? go inside the building? No, no, it says search for the bug in the parking lot. Wait, wait, I got something. Hello. Here we go. Bingo. Is it the fucking bear? Excuse me.
Yep. I was the bear. Now who would be so evil to bug the fucking teddy bear? Hmm? Huh? Sukumo, you can't fight. <laughs> Sukumo. Excuse me. Oh, it is that guy that we fought the other day. <laughs> yep. Oh, there's some pretty confident was that guy that we fought. The In other, other day. words. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Neat. Okay, well, got that taken care of. <laughs> bye bye now. Really, guys? How much SP do I have? A lot. That I would determine to use later. Why'd you motherfuckers at home? Go home. And stay down. Kids ain't supposed to be out this late at night. You know, watch me be here saying that and only be like, I don't know, six in the evening. <laughs> I'm out here introducing kids to the fucking dirt, talking about go home and shit, and it's barely after school. Hello? Hello? Yagami-san, do you have a minute? Yes, I do! Oh, I was just about to call you. I was gonna say, I've got some leads on the murder. By the way, you wouldn't happen to know a Detective Watanabe, would you? 
In Kanagawa PD? Oh, yes. He came asking me about the harassment case. Apparently he couldn't interview Ahara, so he got us instead. Wanna know why that is? Apparently Tokyo PD suspects Ahara might be linked to the murder in some way. And since they don't want Kanagawa stealing the show, they're blocking their investigators out. That does make sense. Not in a bureaucratic way. By the way, when's your next appointment with Ahara? As soon as we're ready, honestly. Did you want to come along? Yes. Yeah, I was just about to ask that. But I'd like to do a bit more research beforehand. I want to know exactly how Ahara's crime played out. Funny you should say that. Hoshino-kun just told me he's going to reinspect the crime scene tomorrow. He said it'd be best to plot Ahara's movement from Ikebukuro all the way to Shinjuku where he was caught. No kidding. Then I ought to go with. If that's the case, hold on one sec. Okay. Yagami-san? Hey! It's me, Hoshino. I'm stoked to hear you'll be helping me out tomorrow. <laughs> I'm stoked to be there. Oh, and could you bring the statements from Ahara's arrest with you? It'd be a huge help if you could walk me through what happened on site. You got it. We'll be starting from Ikebukuro Station, so just meet me there tomorrow. Will do. See you then. Well, that's convenient. All right, nappy time. Oh, hey, health bar is, uh, getting up there. All right, time to go help out the homie. Okay, see that sign right there? Ehara was leaning on that before the incident. Just like that, he was standing around, searching for a victim. Ihara's the man in the cap and sunglasses. Is that... Crow's voice actor from... The Trails games? So, Ihara was lingering at the platform a while, huh? Yeah, he walked past the ticket gate at 7.43 a.m. I this think that is him. Hold on. Tapes, oh, well shit. What's his name? Off. After that, he wandered the platform an entire hour ogling women. He spent that long choosing a target? Yeah. Sick, isn't it? Then the security camera that caught him would be... that one? That's right. I need to hear him talk again. Anyhow, at 9.06 a.m., Ehara finally honed in on his would-be victim. Then he boarded her train, which was departing for Shinjuku. 
She's the one in the pink cardigan and white skirt? Yeah, Yui Mamiya, an office worker and mother of a six-year-old boy. No, no, that's not Crow. Sounds a lot like him, though. The two of them show up on the train's interior cam as well. According to the victim's statement, Ehara began by rubbing her posterior with the back of his hand. But it didn't stop there. After that, he put his hand up her skirt. Pretty sickening. I'm assuming he targeted someone shy, thinking she wouldn't resist. Makes me angry just thinking about it. The victim stated she was too scared to call for help, meaning she endured this for six minutes until the train reached its stop in Shinjuku. Jesus Christ, that is Can you horrifying. Can you show me to my phone? Sure. Now let's head to Shinjuku Station. Then we can watch as the jerk gets busted. Even if we did defend him in court, an asshole's still an asshole. Looks like we're getting close to Shinjuku. The train's pretty light right now, but it was packed during the crime, right? Oh yeah, the car occupancy at that time of day can easily reach 180%. And a horror should Kurt? have been standing roughly where I am. It was the way that he said that that reminded me of Kurt. Should I be looking at here? Hmm. Hey. Oh. Hello. Ehara and Mamiya-san both exited the train and got onto the platform here. But right before that, Mamiya-san suddenly grabbed Ehara's wrist and yanked his hand out from under her skirt. That's when she got a good look at her assailant. So without a doubt, she saw it was him. Yes, and there were also traces of her garments on his hand during evidence analysis. Anyway, after being grabbed, Ehara wrenched himself free and took off at a sprint. Of course he would. See, here he gets off the train and bolts across the platform. And Mamiya-san chases after him, asking people around her for help. Ah, uh, this is what they kept looping on TV. Yeah. And honestly, with all this evidentiary footage, defending him in court was a lost cause. Was there any security footage that wasn't aired on TV? Sure, take a look around you. There's more than just one camera pointed at us. They're practically everywhere. Oh, yeah. As for what I was saying earlier, Ihara was finally tackled right in front of those stairs. Oh, right. I have a diagram of the platform to show you. So Ihara gets off the train here, and then gets apprehended here. How far apart is that? Roughly a hundred meters. Both he and the victim were weaving their way through the crowd. The whole scene was very chaotic. Even after Ahara was caught, the train was stalled 20 minutes until the area was deemed safe. Hmm. Hey, you think we could get the positions of all these cameras and where they're pointing penciled in? Good idea. Let's check each camera's position as we walk over to where Ahara was detained. That's where he got tackled, so if you could let me know whenever you see a camera. I can mock it up on our diagram here. Okay, well, there's one right there. Suspicious. There's one right... Well, we, we established that one already. Hey, That one's not facing the right direction. Is that one over there? No. It wouldn't make sense to check for the ones over there anyway. What the... There's 
another camera. Really? I can't check that one? Mm. Those are speakers. That's a camera, but it's not... Huh? Really? That's all of them? I figured I'd have to be looking more for ones that's facing in the direction of the scene, but okay. Looks like we checked all the nearby cameras. Let's go up a little further now. Alright. Oh. I've checked each area section by section. I got it. Suspicious. Did I hit that one already? Yeah, I did. Got that one. Got that one. Like we checked all the nearby cameras. Let's move on. What the right, one there? Suspicious. One there. Got that one. <laughs> Can't go any farther than there. That means the last camera is behind me. And if it were behind me... Suspicious. Then it'd be right there. Okay, looks like we got all the cameras. Our diagram is now complete. Hooray! We did it. Now we'll pencil in the camera locations and what directions they're pointing. Suspicious. Hmm. So this was the general situation when Ahara committed his crime. What do you think, Yagami-san? Anything of note? Do you think Ahara and Mamiya-san were riding the train pretty frequently? Oh yeah, Mamiya-san commuted by train. She was here every weekday. Same goes for Ahara, actually, but he was off that day. 
Supposedly, he was going to see his wife, even though they're separated. What kind of shit ass? Mm. Did mm. he ever say why he wandered around the platform for an hour? He said the thought of his wife had him flustered and he couldn't force himself to board the train. What? He always had an excuse ready for uh. anything you asked him, including the harassment charges. He pled not guilty, but the evidence said otherwise. There wasn't a single argument we could make in court to establish reasonable doubt. It's safe to say he did it, but on the same day, he knew his son's bully would be murdered in Ijincho. <sighs> Pretty clear it wasn't a spontaneous need to grab some ass. I agree. It's almost like all the commotion around the harassment might have been planned out. Maybe everything was, even down to getting captured. That would be crazy if that's the case. He really played everyone by turning harassment into an alibi for murder. No matter how much evidence points to him as a killer, he can deny it with complete immunity. This is getting crazier by the minute. At the very least, he had something to do with it. Some connection. But I can't imagine he'll talk. Whatever his plan is, it's pretty clear Ahara is committed. To what? Getting revenge for his son? I think so. Who do you think his accomplices could be? Ahara is a veteran cop. Think maybe he knows how to hire an actual assassin? If so, he could have just paid for his revenge, right? He could have. Sure, but assassins cost an arm and a leg. He wasn't rich before all this, was he? No, he barely scraped up enough to cover his lawsuit against the school. Not so. Hey, it's Shiosaki. What's up, Sari-san? I'm scheduling an interview with Ahara tomorrow at the Tokyo Detention Center. We'll take a taxi from Genda's if that all works for you. Okay. Sounds good. But I need to head back to Ijincho for now. Something you forgot to do? Yeah. It involves Ahara's motive, which would be without a doubt his son's suicide. So I want to confirm if Mikoshiba really bullied the kid. And the best person to ask happens to be down in Ijincho. But she won't fucking talk. Right. Then I'll let you get to it. Unless he's talking cool. about the I'll see you tomorrow. principal chairman guy. Which he wouldn't probably fucking talk either. How are we gonna get her to talk though? That's the main problem here, she won't fucking talk. And it's not like we can beat the shit out of her to talk because the main characters in Yakuza games don't hit women. Ever. So. I'm guessing we're gonna have to like really pressure her or something or maybe like guarantee that we can keep her safe from whoever threatened her maybe i don't know and stay down that beef bowl picture sure looks good real good I don't want to go to the beef bowl shop. Cause they make them look so good in anime and games. And they're like mad cheap too. Oh, what? I can't go this... <sighs> Lame. Hey, man, I got shit to do. Alright. 
and you're kind of in my way. I need you to move. Damn. Really, guys? Said that motherfucker flying. Ah. Ah. Get up, Yagami. Goodbye. Hello, cat. Goodbye, cat. Oh, God, I'm getting hit by a car. Never mind. Can't go that way either. Excuse me, coming through. I'm really interested in how we're going to get her to talk. not like we're gonna threaten her. I feel like the only way we're gonna get her to talk is if Yagami says something adjacent of we can, or I, can guarantee your safety. That's the only thing I can think of. If not that, then I don't know. Open up. Got a minute? No, not for you. I really have nothing more to say. Okay. What if I told you it's looking more and more likely Ihara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's death? Well, it doesn't concern me. Yes, it does. Ihara-san believes Mikoshiba tormented Toshiro-kun so badly that he took his own life. But neither the third-party investigation nor the courts were on his side. So what's the truth here? You know, don't you? <sighs> what really happened between Mikoshiba and Toshiroku? Why won't you tell me the truth? Why do you keep asking? I said I don't know! You know. I'm going to the detention center tomorrow to get some answers out of Ahara-san. <sighs> what? I saw where Mikoshiba was murdered. He endured no shortage of cruelty before he died. They tortured him, you know. They broke all his fingers before they slid his throat. No. And somehow Ihara-san knew Mikoshiba would be killed on the day he got caught for groping. It's like he did it to prove he had nothing to do with the murder. But maybe that wasn't his real objective at all. Hell no. Huh? I think he wanted to signal that he'd finally avenged his son. The body belongs to a guy named Hiro Mikoshiba. Four years ago, this man took my son from me by driving him to commit suicide. If I'm gonna face him tomorrow, I can't go in without some ammunition. So, four years ago, did Mikoshiba bully Toshiro-kun or not? That's all I want to know. My answer won't change. Oh god. There's no evidence Miko Shibakun did anything wrong. Are that is sure neither a yes that? or a no answer. Take a look at this. That's Toshiro Ehara, your student. Imagine that he's listening to what you're saying now. Right, come on now. If you can look at him 
and say Mikoshiba played no part in his death, I'll leave you alone. In fact, you'll never hear a word from me again. So which is it? Thought so. Well, that's one way of forcing an answer out Four of her. Four years ago. Not long after I'd transferred here to teach English. That's when it started. I was trying my best to get acclimated. And I was finally on a first-name basis with everyone. One day, after school, I was out on the roof taking a break, when Toshiro-kun suddenly ran by. I called out to him to ask what was wrong, but he shushed me and kept running. I saw he had a bloody nose. Moments later, Mikoshiba-kun showed up. He was looking for him. I told him I hadn't seen him. Toshiro-kun's face told me everything I needed to know. So Mikoshiba was bullying him after all. Why couldn't you just say yes. that? Toshiro-kun told me this later on. Whenever he'd leave school with Mikoshiba-kun and his friends, they'd force him to hand over money. At first, they'd try to pass it off as a joke. Right. They said since he lowered the class average on tests, he ought to buy them all drinks as an apology. What the fuck? And Mikoshibakum. He was having too much fun with it to stop. He started offering tutoring sessions to Toshiro-kun. Only so he and his crew could extract their tuition from him. They'd even break into his house while his mother was at work and take the money she left him for dinner. Yo, damn! If he couldn't pay, they'd beat him up at school or make him grovel in the bathroom what the fuck didn't anybody see what was really happening the teachers either saw nothing or turned a blind eye few students knew man it it's though. the breaking into the house anyway, and taking the dinner money part for me bro everything toshiro kun had told me to those boys homeroom teacher mind you this teacher had tenure bullying title, overseas is fucking insane man do you know what he told me he don't give a fuck. He said not to cause a commotion because those boys were about to graduate. Sounds about right. Why does that not surprise me? To be honest, it was hard to paint such an outwardly model student in the negative light. There was also no hard evidence to support Toshiro Kun's story. But someone still should have stepped in to help. If only I'd understood that at the time. I mean. Having your house consistently broken into by the same Try. people? That should be evidence enough, right? to keep an eye out for him. Making sure he wasn't alone, things like that. But unfortunately, that wasn't good enough. On the first morning of the third trimester, Toshiro-kun tied a towel to his doorknob and hung himself in his room. Yo! And that's when you confronted Mikoshiba, right? You asked him point blank if he'd bullied him. I did. Man, I see why for good reason they gave a, uh, um, a content and trigger warning at the beginning of the game about this bullying shit. Cause not, not to take away from the scene or whatever, but this is a problem that happens in schools a lot. I personally wasn't affected by it, but I know people who were affected by bullying. And I knew some people who unfortunately took themselves out the game because of bullying. But like, dog. People have their small, narrow-minded view of what bullying can lead to. And when it gets to the extremes, then people want to do the whole, you gotta rally, we gotta talk about it. But nah, man, don't wait for it to get to an extreme talk about it when you get the chance bro i mean like the the pico second it comes up say something do something don't just let that shit linger bro granted it takes a lot of courage to come forth about stuff like that but still at the end of the day it's better you do something than you do nothing mikoshiba-kun pretended to know nothing 
He was more careful, shaken even, from then on. In all honesty, when I heard a third party committee was investigating, I was hoping the truth would come out. Students were asked to fill out an anonymous questionnaire, and many of them wrote down exactly what they saw. Hold on. Didn't the court end up declaring there was no substantial evidence of bullying? What happened? The... I guess a uh, stream might have lagged out for you or something. But this kid that we've been looking into, and that a horror dude that we've been looking into, his son committed suicide because he was being bullied. The, it, yeah, he, 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 he took himself out. Because he was being bullied so bad and nobody helped him out. In the way that he needed it. How could they have said that with those questionnaires on hand? First of all, the committee never interviewed anyone directly. Those questionnaires were the only proof of anything. Sounds about right. The teacher of For those a school boys just brushing that shit under the rug. Each time he came across any mention of bullying, he'd toss that questionnaire out. Are you dead also, ass? he wouldn't get blamed in the end for ignoring the warning signs. Typical. So then the committee was pointless. A few students did speak up about the bullying online. But their posts weren't much to go on. Toshiro-kun's parents were completely caught off guard. His mother worked through the day, and his father lived all the way in Tokyo. That made it that much easier for the teacher to cover up all the evidence of bullying. He made that statement without even consulting the principal or the chairman. So, right before Miko Shibakun graduated, the committee presented their findings. That there was no evidence of bullying. The conclusion you've heard over and over. What the hell? In Japan, 300 children commit suicide every year, across all grades. Damn! Less than 3% are proven to be linked to bullying. Toshiro-kun's case ended up like that, too. Jesus Christ. But Ehara-san wasn't satisfied with those findings. I wouldn't be either. So he sued Serio High, demanding compensation for Toshiro-kun's death. As the trial dragged on, I was eventually called to the witness stand. And you caved, didn't you? Of course, you? my intention was to let everything I knew out into the open. But? But before that could happen... Damn teacher came with the school's attorney to see how I would testify. God damn it. They didn't want you making them look bad, huh? Of course they wouldn't. Of course not. That's when I first learned what he did with those incriminating questionnaires. They had no choice but to reveal everything to me, to try and sway me to their side. Uh-huh. I guess they were just that desperate. Damn, After bro. All, I was the only adult who Toshiro-kun confided in. And she feels and like she failed him. Parents about it once. Fuck no, he didn't. So yes, that's why there was never any objective evidence of bullying. It wasn't like I had a mind to record our conversations. And I hadn't personally witnessed it either. The school attorney saw fit to remind me that the law says innocent until proven guilty. Wow. And if I couldn't produce tangible evidence, then I shouldn't be accusing Miko Shibakun. So it was witness tampering? That is, they coerced you into false testimony? Yes. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Must have been incredibly hard on you. What I should have done was told the truth regardless. Okay, now I dislike her could I have really done for so her? much less. Now that I know Some that I just don't know. how she really feels and how as everything went I down. I tried to convince myself I did everything I could for him. I can never fully believe it. So what happened to the teacher who covered all this up? That motherfucker got a pension he and took off. To another school. Oh. Got to think he's still standing at a podium somewhere. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Even so, I don't have the right to place the blame solely on him. That's a great question. Isn't that the lady I was trying to... No, the, the lady that I'm talking to now was the one who never wanted to answer any of my questions.
Maybe, but in that case, Mikoshiba's bullying of Toshiro, or those questionnaires getting discarded. Have you ever told anyone else? No. I've been silent. Yagami-san, you know what? Back when I was a student in high school, I witnessed bullying firsthand. There was this kid. My classmates pushed him too far. And one day he just jumped off the roof. Damn! Off the roof? By some miracle he survived the fall. He's... And he's been in a coma for the last 13 years. Damn! Nobody knows if he'll ever wake up. His name is Mitsuru. And he may never open his eyes to the world again. His mom watches him. But she works full time. She's a higher up in the government. I'm sorry to hear it. The worst part is that his teacher knew. He even talked to the bullies about it. But all he said was, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it? What the hell? Afterward, the public eviscerated him. Good. He had to quit his teaching job. Fuck that. And yet, for poor Toshiro-kun, nobody was held responsible at all. And that includes me. But if anyone was going to take responsibility for that, Mikoshiba should have been first in line. I'm sure Ahara-san must have thought the same thing. You know what I wanted to be as a kid? I was so innocent, I wanted to be a teacher. And after Mitsuro-kun's tragedy, I felt practically obligated. And still, I just let history repeat itself. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn, man. Okay. You know, I know that my streams and my videos and my content in general is like aimed and designed and oriented to people that are like at least 18 and shit. But like, if anybody sees this that is like under that or like you're a parent or whatever and you have kids that are in school... If they make even the slightest mention of them being bullied, you need to get off your ass and do something about it. Go go, go talk to teachers, go talk to other students, go do whatever you need to do in the event that your kid, or hell, if, even if you're a teacher, your students or whatever is like, hey, I'm being bullied and I need help. Do something. Because if you just let that shit fester, you risk the worst possible outcome. And the less of those that we have in the world, the better. Nah, and I, re I really genuinely mean that. Because this, this... This shit is getting, like, way up there. Because granted, you know... The game did say at the beginning that it was going to be some, some, some touchy shit and you know any real world resemblances just a coincidence and make sure comfortable stop playing the game and what have you but nah man this shit real like I, I don't want to I don't really want to play the uh the um um, the comparison game, because I, I'm nowhere near finishing Lost Judgment yet, but the story so far and the subject material at hand is real as fuck because bullying is a real, real ass problem that many people go to go through 
to this day, you know, whether that be in school or in college or the workforce or whatever the hell, that shit is real. And, you know, it, at least when I was growing up and going through school, bullying was out of line. I'll say that. But there was like a 60 something percent chance that if you spoke up about it, something would get done and stuff. But like I said earlier, I know people who were bullied. I know people who are still messed up to this day because of that bullying. And I knew people who took themselves out because of said bullying. So all I'm saying without going in too many roundabout circles is just if you see the shit say some speak up and if you're a victim of it i pray to whatever god you believe in or god that's out there for you to find the courage within to say something and even more that something gets done about it because this this is this is a so much more believable and 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 tangible story in comparison to judgment one because judgment one was also you know around murders but that was about a drug to eliminate dementia and alzheimer's which is impossible but but a story centered around again another murder and 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 Bullying being a main primary point, bro. This shit is real. This is some serious shit. And I'm surprised that it's being handled in such a mature manner so far. Not to say that I think it's going to go, you know, spiraling downhill without a um, deal with it, but. For for how it's being discussed now, it, it's being done in a very, very respectable way. Hello, dog. Hmm? The detective hmm? dog of Ijincho? Okay. What? <laughs> hmm. By the way. Sure. I see. Hmm. Hmm? Wait. Huh, um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's a good boy? Welcome back from the ads. Doing great. Do I actually have to follow the dog? Oh shit, this is awesome. Yo, this is sick. I get to have a dog. <laughs> This way, huh? Well, I'll be damned. Got something? Now, the question is where and what is he taking us to?
We really have Doing a great. fucking detective dog. Excuse me. Um. What? Oh no, she didn't abandon him here, did she? Please tell me she didn't do that. I see. Fuck out of here, man. Hmm. Yeah, man, water can be pretty fucking good. This way, huh? Doing great. Got something? This way, huh? Got something? What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> oh. Oh no. No. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Excuse me. Uso. Company, bit man, I will put you into. Hey. Mm. What the? What kind of inter? Oh boy. No way. All right, jackass, come on. Yeah, sit down, bastards. Hey. In other words, eh. no way. Excuse me. Let's go, dude. Who's a good boy? Hmm. That looks like a no. Hmm? <laughs> what 
Well, 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 would you look at that? Seriously? Hug card, huh? How much water do I have left in this sealed bottle of mine? A lot, actually. Okay. Does that mean... Water has been defeated. Gwen, I didn't have that much water left in my bottle anyway. Yeah, with this weird water uh, thing that you're on right now, you're you, you're dipping into your hippie bag a little bit too much, there, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> really? I can just summon him whenever I want. <laughs> cool. Time to go home and interrogate this Ahara bastard. What is going on? Having a party? The fuck? Hey, welcome back. Care for a drink, y'all? Give me some. No, I don't drink What's beer. Up? It's gross. Give me whiskey instead. Home. Not that you haven't already. Who me? Well, whatever do you mean? Corn is fine. He just swung by to have a chat with you, man. Not that I mind hanging out over beers and shogi. Have to thank you for that. You always Can say I drink some water. Yeah, cause water is good, bruh. I like your style. And it keeps you alive. What do you want with me? Check it out, Yagami-san. What do you You're want? You're here to get to the bottom of that Hiro Mikushiba kid's murder, right? That's Pretty gotta much. be the reason the Yokohama Liumang attacked you, isn't it? All I'm saying is that you've gotta cut me in, man. What if I don't I want to? I've got enough help. 
So some hotshot detective strolls into town and tries to leave the local guy out in the cold? Yeah, fuck you. No offense, but that's not gonna fly. You gonna play your turn? Just finish your game and go home already. Wouldn't you benefit from someone who knows the scene? You know, I can get you anywhere in a jean show above or below ground. Aren't you expensive? I'll give you a first-time customer price. Uh -huh. I'm not about to sit here and let some outsider swoop in and take all the credit alone. And that means I Man, guess I'm gonna fuck here off, you bro. It's Sukumo and Sukiura's place as far as I'm concerned. Not even my call to make. I welcome having more company. God damn it. The more the merrier. That'll be the agency motto. He's trying really to steal our fucking thunder, bro. Did you not just hear him say that he wants in because he doesn't want someone else taking all the credit for... <sighs> I don't like characters like him. Such a nice office. I'm gonna love it here. Uh, Yagamishi, guess what? The internet picked up on the Ahara link to Mikoshiba. The trending sentiment is that he killed him in an act of vengeance for his son. They've already figured that part out? See for yourself. Here, check it out. Son of a bitch student teacher should burn in hell for bullying a kid all the way to suicide. Mikoshiba was a damn psychopath. Ehara is the vigilante groper. And that's not even the trolls. Damn. So the news is blowing up on the net, huh? In the internet terms, this is only the first spark that could ignite into a fire. Not even what I'd call viral. Then who's lighting the spark? The people responsible for Mikoshiba's murder? I'll have to go down a few more rabbit holes before I can make that call, I'm afraid. Wouldn't be too gotcha. far off, though. That said, some posts are kind of suspicious. This one here, for instance. Ehara totally called the location of the body at his trial. The fact that he did that never really even went public, as far as I could tell. It was kept off the record? When Ehara got arrested, the cop turned Groper story and his sexual battery charges were huge news. It was all the media could talk about. But by the time his trial rolled around, the news had already moved on. His guilty verdict barely made a blip. Fellas, I told you I wanted to be kept in the loop on this stuff. Go away. Shiba had more than one killer? And where are they now? You think these lunatics are still hanging around Ijincho? It's been over two months already, man. If they were here, they're probably long gone by now. Another peaceful day in Ijincho, right? Oh, Jesus. Check outside. Hey, man, windows are expensive. Oh, hey, it's them again. It's the Leo Mug. The White Mask again. Let's go, Chuck. I'll catch you later. <laughs> not bad. Chase time, baby. You're not getting away this time. Guy. Hold up. All right, you little bitch, come here. What the hell are you throwing at me? Try and keep up. Bro, I'm on your ass. What do you mean? No! Damn it. Bitch. Hold up. What are you talking about, bro? Let's go.
Oh shit, we are, we are, oh my god, we are going right up into there. Oh no. Uh oh. I know exactly where we are, and this is not good. Uh oh. Damn it. Oh, great. Where am I? A place you really don't want to be, Hagami. Let me go ahead and sit up for this one. You lure me here? Don't worry, man. I'm not planning on killing you tonight. Okay, but why else would you take off the mask? Because from this point forward, Eugene Cho is closed. You won't be coming back. What the fuck? I'm Tesso. For what it's worth, I'm an officer candidate of the Yokohama Liomon. Oh, God. I hear you took out some of my masked boys the other day. Oh, you mean those guys who thought they could sneak up on me in the afternoon? Maybe if you hadn't resisted at the time, you'd be in a lot less pain than you're about to be in the near future. Who's paying you to try to take me down? This is a job that came down from the top of the org. I don't know who hired us, and to be honest, I don't give a shit either. But... Ripping up a kick-ass detective like you sure sounds like a good time. None of you guys make a move! Oh, it's a 1v1? The rumors are true. So I get first taste. Oh. Show me what you got. Bet, let's go. You have to forgive me if I stop paying attention to chat. I'm just letting you know now. Okay, that was cool. What the? Slice you to ribbon. Fuck you. Okay, that was something. I'm glad I got my fucking snake parries on point. Let's go! Running a little late tonight. 
tonight, aren't we, Kaito-san? Yeah, my bad. Had to punch my way through a few guys. Hey, you gotta run for it. If you stick around, it's not gonna matter how many lives you've got. Yeah, but if I run now, who's gonna pay for Tsukumo's window then? Huh? Uh. <laughs> for fuck's sake, I'll just pay for it. Now get out of there. <laughs> you got a deal. Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about. I am loving every second of this. Yeah, watch yourself, big guy. You're not him. Stay down. Goodbye. Oh, shit. You can get mad all you want. It's not going to help you. Or you. Wait your turn. Come on, talk. Okay, that hurt. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, oh, man. Wrong style. Okay. That was fun. Unexpected, but fun. Are we done here? Yagami! You want yeah. some more? You want something? Uh, what was it? Tesso, just want to say, I'm impressed. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to take out all these guys, to be honest. Uh, thanks. But if you're feeling generous, how about you tell me who hired you? <laughs> Didn't I say this before? I got no interest in doing that. Hey, can you do me a favor and turn down the job next time, maybe? Yeah, right. The request comes through again, I'm taking it. Simplest solution for you is to get the hell out of town. No. Me and my big mouth. Just go already. Hey, not bad, man. A lot of young folks look up to Tesso. So gaining his respect is going to have some perks. All I want to know is if the view mob are no longer a threat. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. Tesso's not the only young hothead among them. But hey, at least they probably won't blindside you anymore. And that's a victory in itself. Guess that is a step forward. A baby one. <laughs> anyway, we should go check up on 99. Something tells me they're not in the clear just yet. Interesting. We're leaving? Let me go to the store real quick. That's not the entrance. Excuse me, coming through. Move, please. Thank you. How much SP did I get out of all that? A good amount. You know, I was just about to whip out the skateboard, but then uh, the map pinged. I don't like this. No. No. Oh, no. Yagamishi. Thank God you're back. What happened? He's knocked out cold. Damn it. Masked men attacked us. I couldn't fight them. Masked men, you say? Were they any different from what the Liumang wear? Uh, I, I couldn't get a good look. Sukiyoshi, they stuck up on him with a bat and came after me next. They caught me. My pinky. They broke it? 
Oh shit. Hey, are you okay? I'll call an ambulance. There are these photos and a message I was told to give to you, Yagamishi. They said to tell you this is your final warning. What the fuck? They followed me all the way to Kamarocho? <laughs> They want me, then come after me. Tuck, I think the Leomon were part of the plan as bait. They probably only came to lure us away from the office. The worst part is it fucking worked. Motherfuckers, man. Oh, it's gonna feel so good beating the absolute dog piss out of whoever's orchestrating all this. This camera ought to show everyone coming in and out of the building. Look, there's me and Kaito chasing down the Leoman. But here's the hitch. What the fuck? Those are different masks. There They're... were seven of them, and they didn't Ooh. have those trademark white masks. So clearly, they're not Leomon. Who the fuck are they? They must have got the white masks to lure us out. Meaning they're the ones calling the shots here. Wouldn't surprise me if they were also Ahara's accomplices to murder. That'd be something. No. It's hard to believe a single murder could involve so many people. Really? Why do you say that? More friends, more loose lips. One slip of the tongue can bring down an entire group. Taking a man's life would require absolute solidarity from every single member. What could be their connection? Could be their Ahara's buddies in blue. After hearing what happened to his kid, they couldn't help but feel for the guy. If it were me, yeah, I'd sympathize. But not enough to watch a man die. Or do the deed myself. Yeah, who threw their life away for that? Unless we're talking about the mob over here. That e -cig's that good, huh? Considering the area's volatility, the Leomong are the best bet in the house. But if it's not them... Well, there is the Seiryu clan, but they have some decorum. No, no the way. Guys. And then the Komi Jewel, the Koreans, they would never get caught on camera. Right. They're shy like that. Go figure. <laughs> Impressive list you've got up there, Mr. Handyman. Too bad they're all dead in. Hey, if there's a crime in Kamurocho, would you know who did it off the top of your head? No. Uh, uh. This footage is the lead we've been waiting for. Now we're gonna hunt them down for Tsukumo and Sukiura. You get hit in the head or something? Find them and they'll mess your ass up. Not if I mess them up first. Don't you get it? They were planning to take you out, man. The Liumang letting you off is nothing short of a miracle. Or would you rather risk your neck over nothing? Where we come from, risking our necks the bare minimum. <laughs> you Ijinsho guys must not see much action. Right. Yeah, well, any Ijinsho, a handyman's wages don't cover life and limb. I don't recall ever hiring you. Yeah, and if you asked me now, I'd say hell no. This shit's getting way too over my head. Pussy. And yours. Sorry, Kaito-san. But I'm gonna have to pass on drinks for a while. Send my regards to the lads. <coughs> Chomp-ass motherfucker. Well, hey. Never chase with leaves. Hmm. Ooh, I can't wait to get my fucking revenge, bro. They are fucking with the wrong ones. Ugh, the agony. I was in a cold sweat all of yesterday. <laughs> this rate, I'll be forced to type one-handed. <laughs> you do the math. My pinky is worth more than an average person's whole hand. We're talking about at least a 30% drop in efficiency. 
Oh, it's been a while since I got it this bad. I might even throw up. So, leaving Kamurocho made you rusty, huh? Really, with that? If I could wish the pain away, I would, man. Hey, if you've got the energy to complain, you'll be just fine. I'm gonna make this up to you guys. I promise. Well, if you want to do that, we'll need to figure out who and where they are. There's a high possibility this group is directly behind Mikoshiba's murder. And of course, that would mean they know Ehara as well. And how about swapping more info with the Kanagawa police? Let's save that for when we really need it. We're not the authorities here, so we need to play our cards close to our chest. I think that's a wise decision. Sauri san's on top of getting things set up with Ehara, right? In that case, I'll head back to Kamurocho. Take your time prepping. We can always regroup up there. No, I'm 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 going to go right away. Hi. Perfect. But later, not right now. Okay. What's up, Kaito-san? Something wrong? Call me crazy. But doesn't the city seem noisier to you? What the hell? Kaito senses tingling or something? Hmm. Maybe they are. Well, no point trying to explain shit that doesn't make sense. What's that happy campaign thing for? Anyway, was that there? Need to go talk to Sari-san before the interview. Was that there when we left to go to a Jincho? Hold on a minute, Todd. What? I'm noticing a lot more punk scurrying around than normal. Something's up. Really? Huh. Maybe so. Hey, don't I know you two? Your detectives around here. Ain't I you? know what's going on. They're looking yeah, for us, so aren't what? they? Ever seen this guy before? A few years ago, he was the manager at some girl's bar nearby. Okay, not looking for us. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? <laughs> Must be one slippery eel. Damn right he is. Now, do you know him or not? Hmm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity. What's a guy doing running a girl's bar? I don't think he has That is a little shady. All I care about is him up and vanishing out of nowhere. So he's a missing person? Since when? Five years ago. And you're looking I for mean, him now? Kamrocho isn't that uncommon. Five years? What do you really expect to find? Your guy have a name? And who gave the order to find him? You trying to be cute? We're the ones asking the questions here. Don't fuck with us. Who's fucking with who, asshole? You want to ask questions, you're gonna have to ask nice. Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter, so we don't give handouts. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Okay. Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. Ah, fuck off! Alright, you asked for it. Let's play some. 
Anyway... Anyway, yeah, you walked up to the wrong one, guy. Try again in a different life. Maybe you'll get somewhere. Hey, what's up? That all you guys got? Kamurocho used to be tough. Look at these punks. <laughs> oh, who the fuck? Gaito san. Huh? It's Akatsu. First name Daimo. You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. I don't like the way he looking. What the? Ex Yakuza? Well. If you say so. What the fuck? Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. Why did he just take a, a selfie? Guy. You heard, didn't you? RK officer. Miss Guy you're after. He was some kind of girls bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? No. Zoma's taking point on this one came from one of his connections. There's gonna be a big pile of cash in it for whoever finds him. Practically all of Kamurocho's in on this race. And Soma is? He's the one in charge of the RK gang. Of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name Kazuki. That's crazy. Did the whole Tojo clan join this thing? Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? No. You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. You trying to fight? I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on him. I would walk right up and stick him in the gut. <laughs> you wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Yeah? So don't go disrespecting me. I'll fight you right now. There won't be a warning next time. I will fight you right now. Okay. Akatsu, you said? Did he get very far in the Tojo clan? Nah. He may have had the potential, but he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. That's what he gets. Soma's the same way, actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. <laughs> so... Now they're ex Yakuza in the wind. Just doing whatever the fuck they want to do? Without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with RK, a network of thugs. RK? What does the acronym stand for? <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan 
Those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. RK's happy to scoop them up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. That's unfortunate, but... Speaking of the Tojo clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Yeah. As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. Yeah, I know. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. If you get a chance, you ought to show up there every once in a while. Nah, Higashi. I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. Very interesting. Are they? They wouldn't happen to be the Kahing Gang like random fight replacement for Lost Judgment, would they? Anyway, bye bye. And stay down. Let's hit it. Too fast. Keep up, Kaito. You know, I don't think they'd be the Kahing Gang random fight replacement. No, they 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 had a little bit too much story importance for that. Just based off that one cutscene. Oh, sorry, son. Yagami san made. Hello, best girl. I am back. Sorry for the wait. I ran into some typical nonsense. We good to go? I've been good to go for a while. Ehara is waiting, and so are the answers. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was in Mikoshiba's murder. From the way it's been so far, I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. If you won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. Yagami-san. Ehara won't know what hit him. <laughs> I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami-san? Well, this ain't my department. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> I might even tidy the place up a bit if you're lucky. Lots of open bottles to polish off. Uh huh. Are we leaving? Yes, we are. How did? I, I just read the what you just said in chat. How in the hell Wait. did you let your finger get that close to a fan for that to happen? You gotta be more careful, man. Oh, I thought you'd lost already. So, what more could my lawyers want from me here? A lot. Normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Ahara-san. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Hey, watch your mouth. Yagimi's my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Sari-san. But today, 
I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosaki-sensei called, and so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Ha <laughs> You might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba, you blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third-party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Mahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Mahara-san, <laughs> just a second. Why would I give you that? Hey man, fuck you. Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. Doesn't that sound great? Oh, wow. I mean, they have this now that I gave it to them. Well, the detective guy that I spoke to at the crime scene, he has that. I don't think the rest of the PD has that, though. I've got five options. That has nothing to do with it. I'm pretty sure you've seen that. So I guess it'd be this? Take a look at this. Oh, Mikoshiba. Looks like he's seen better days. Where'd you get the photo? From a teacher at Serio High. But where she got it is the interesting part. A strange woman gave it to her and said to stay away from the Mikoshiba case. <sighs> you remember Sawa Sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago, not long before your son passed away. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court he was never bullied. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. The lawyers. It felt like choking the life right out of them. But if anyone needed to pay, it was Mikoshiba. He got what he deserved. Nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flaw broken system of laws that has no business calling itself justice. And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. How?
The way that interview went, Nahar is definitely guilty. Without a doubt. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we'll have with no leads to follow. Yeah. Kept that secret on lockdown, no matter what I asked. What could possibly link Ihara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in Ijinjo. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll be in town for now. Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Hmm. All right, that sounds pretty good to me. So yeah, bro, bro is without a doubt guilty as shit. He didn't even try to hide it, bro. We just have to prove that, and that's gonna be the hard part. We're about to get attacked, aren't we? No? Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? I don't uh, like your tone of voice. Uh, it wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Oh, uh, I don't like this. It's the murder footage. The what? Because the what? The on the internet. Huh? It's going viral the How? Sites. What the f- what do you mean, bro? I'll do anything you want. I didn't know he'd do it. I swear. What the fuck? Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. Damn. What the hell? What? How? What do you what in the what? Not only is he guilty, he did it. This, he? What the? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. There's the no way, man. Toshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? That has to be some like elaborate body dump, man. Or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. That absolute. I need to have another chat. There's, with the there's no fucking way that's fake. Damn it! I'm not gonna let him get away with this. This is either a really elaborate body double scheme, or he did it in cold blood. And they act like he didn't do it. And somehow managed to craft a perfect goddamn alibi, right? Cause cause let let's let's go over what we know already, right? His alibi was that like he was being a pervert, grope somebody on a train. Alright? There's proof of that. More than enough proof of that. To show that he was there when it happened. So at some point when Mikashiba was kidnapped with whoever and however many people had him, right? They went, beat the hell out the boy, tortured him, did whatever. And then he went, a Ahara, when I say he, Ahara went, took him out, and then left the body there and then in between that time he was in contact with 
whatever group he's working with to help facilitate all this and then someone gave the order for the flares and that's when they found the body and that's how we're here now what the fuck dude man that is wild train groping and a murder seem to occur simultaneously. Yagami relentlessly pursues these cases, attempting to poke holes in each. After confronting Akihiro Ehara, the key figure in both crimes, he witnesses a harrowing video that provides more questions than answers. In it, a bound man pleads for his life, but his attacker Bound by vengeance, snuffs it out. Oh, wait a minute. I don't like the title of that. Because when it comes to law, that means you can't be charged for the same thing twice. Oh, shit. Oh, this is, this is going to be a problem but wait they haven't charged him for murder they charged him for groping so the murder footage is already making the rounds online so i don't think it's showing up on tv though hmm. yeah and that's a mess right now it's all unsubstantiated rumors hmm. and unverified sources typical really an ex-top going from by the book sex offender to vigilante avenger overnight is prime forum drama sentiment seems to be swinging in favor of ehara but there's plenty of folks on the fence about it too Reactions have been all over the board. Do we know if that video is authentic? I mean, CG has come a long way, right? Oh, or perhaps a deep fake. That is plausible. I didn't even think about has that. It's reached the point where it can generate pretty convincing facsimiles. I did not think about that. Someone even made a video that made it look like the U.S. president was saying a bunch of crazy stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Deep fakes are only getting more authentic looking. Can't guys like you tell if a video is fake or not, though? Aren't there any signs? Oh, there are several telltale signs of a video being doctored. So I ran every check I could think of on the murder footage. And wouldn't you know it, nothing came up. Oh shit. Most likely, we're looking at the real deal. Okay. Most likely? Well, no one can claim with absolute certainty that it wasn't altered in some way. Which means it's not substantial enough to prove Ihara's guilt. At least not in a court of law. Gotcha. Do you know when and where the footage was uploaded? It was posted sometime last night, but the source is too hard to pin down. The uploaders spread it across multiple servers overseas in a well-concerted effort to hide their tracks. Of course. Makes sense. But I'll bet it ultimately came from Mikoshiba's killers, no matter how real or fake it is. How do you figure? Think about it. No one could have staged that unless they knew the specifics of how Mikoshiba was killed. From how he was positioned to little things like the blood on the ground, every last detail was just as the detectives described it. That's a good point. Oh, all this browsing's really taken a toll on the old pinky. like another visit to Ehara might clear things up. You should ask Shirosaki-sensei about it. Yeah, that was my thought too. I need answers, and I need them now. Ah, uh, let me get this straight. Ehara went and felt a lady up on the day Mikoshiba got killed on purpose? If that's the case... Why the hell would he upload a murder confession after the It fact? wasn't the day he got killed, trying it was... to get caught? Only a horror can answer that dead. one for you. I want to ask him that question myself. So, we're off to see Sauri san then? Hmm. Let's roll, Tom. Excuse me, come through, get out of my way. I 
up so many questions that I know are gonna get answered, but what? Fuck, man. gonna have like an actual wind-up animation anyway You're in my way. Goodbye. Don't interrupt me when I'm fighting. And stay down. Little bastard. Please don't. Hold the door, please. For who? Huh? Oh, hey! You're here? It's been too damn long, Mafia Cha. Yeah. By any chance, Yagami kun, are you working on a case for Saori? Yeah. A video got leaked. It depicted a man committing a murder. About the Ahara case too? Of course. The prosecutor's office is in total chaos right now. As it should Especially be. Especially the higher ups. I'll bet. After all, they're the ones who pushed for Ahara's battery conviction. If that video is real, that would mean Ahara got them to hand him a slap on the wrist instead of a murder conviction. Yes. And it's not like the prosecution can say, sorry, Your Honor, we'd like a do-over. Yeah, you can't do that. To make matters worse, everything leading up to the trial was broadcast all over the news. Changing our tune now would undermine public trust. That's for sure. So, for the time being, our department is trying to predict how the defense will approach the situation. Hence why they sent me here to check in on my good friend's salary. Totally no strings attached. <laughs> well, that clears up a lot. There you kids are. Figured you had to show up sometime. Mafia? You're caught up in this too? Yeah, she ran into us downstairs. I'm sure you can work out that I'm here to spy on you. But wouldn't you like to know what we're up to as well? Are you sure that's your only motive coming here? Sorry? Something like a professional excuse to see Yagami-san? <laughs> In your dreams, I had no idea Yagami-kun was involved until just now. All right, I'll accept that for now. <laughs> Gotta say, I miss this little banter. Needless to say, our office is going through this footage with a fine-tooth comb. That said, they've already determined their stance. They've deemed it an unreliable source. Of course they would. 
Basically, they want it to look like it was considered and already thrown out. Huh? So, they're not gonna verify the video? Not even question Ahara about Mikoshiba? Nothing? Nope. Not after it was proven in court that Ahara committed sexual battery on October 7th. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you say a conviction has a certain finality to it? Besides, yeah. there's no way Ehara could have murdered Mikoshiba within that limited time span. Right. That Which too. Which means the murder video doesn't really add up, does it? What are you getting at? I'm saying the prosecution believes the video has been falsified. But... Special effects, CGI... How? Whatever it is, we're not buying it. How, how could uh, it have been falsified? Furthermore, the prosecutor pushing that stance was the one who handled Ahara's trial. And that is... His name is Sadao Takano. He was the one gunning the hardest for Ahara the first time around, especially considering his officer status. Of course. He kept insisting justice be served, which got the public behind him rather quickly. He certainly looked the part of the people's prosecutor, grilling Ahara in court. So what you're saying is, Takano could never accept anything but Ahara's original sentence. Since this footage of the murder contradicts that finding, he just thinks it's a sham. Yes, and he that, that a fair trial's result can't be challenged by some video on the internet. Well, who could honestly trust a system that changes its mind so easily? Right. Both the prosecutor's office and the court are beholden to the case as Takano Kun presented it. But that's just sweeping the issue under the rug. It has a domino effect, too. The police are beholden to the verdict we got, so their hands are tied. This applies to both Tokyo and Kanagawa. Really? Why's that? Supposedly, they don't want to get involved with Ehara until they're sure the video is real. They come in with a list of questions about the murder. It'll show that doubt's being cast on the original ruling. Yeah, but no one can prove that the video's real. Right. There's no way to verify the legitimacy of an untraceable video. But if the police aren't allowed to see Ahara, he'll never even become a suspect in the murder. That means he's untouchable. Exactly. None of the detectives are happy about that. Especially down in Kanagawa. Their job is to bring in a suspect, but their leads are all ending up at the same dead end. Until recently, people were lining up to bring a heart to justice. Yet somehow his involvement in a murder totally derailed that. Don't be so surprised. No cop would ever want to undermine a ruling based on their own findings. Anyone who wants to go against the grain's gonna need hard evidence on their side. So the case goes cold. All to save face for the court and the prosecution. If Ahara really did commit murder, it'll have been the perfect crime. This debacle only serves as proof. True. It would turn the trial into a farce. There's no way we're letting this go. But wouldn't challenging this mean going up against the entire system? Yeah. That scare you? Not at all. In fact, I was just thinking, we're the only ones who could take a case like this. Ha! <laughs> That's the good shit, kid. This whole time, we've been writing off Ahara as a convicted sexual predator. Right. But it's looking more and more likely the court played right into his hand. Also right. As for me... I'm done being played for a fool. Then you've heard what I came to say. And with that, I will be on my way. But if you need help, just ask. I think we're good for now, but thanks. That did clear up a lot. No problem. See ya. Bye bye now. Oh boy. Was Mafuyu-chan cuter than ever or what? Think maybe it's time to light that flame again, huh? How many <laughs> times do I have to tell you? It's not like that. Huh. I've still got so many questions, though. Anyway, what I'd like to do is ask Ahara about that video face to face. Any chance we could see him again? I was How actually about to suggest that. 
Uh, one moment. How the hell did he manage to orchestrate this shit? From Ahara's prison. What? Is he dead? Hello? Yes, this is Shirosaki. Yes, I can talk. His prison? Why would they call us directly? Guess we'll find out. Understood. I appreciate the candor. Uh... That was one of the prison wardens. He was asked to convey a message from Ehara. Huh? About what? In short, he won't be speaking with his representation any further. Motherfucker! To be more specific, he said he's not taking any more questions. It seems he fully grasps the situation, even in custody. How, how what? Was that even Is this possible? somebody on the inside? I'm no. guessing the no. murder footage that Duh, was there, there yesterday was all also planned out in advance. That or Ahara's conspirators have to be filling him in. Right? That how would make sense. I we'd try to see him again so soon. I can see either of those scenarios making sense. But only someone on the force could be leaking insider information to him like that. Damn. This shit's turning into a full-blown conspiracy, hey, eh, Tuck? Whatever it is, it's screwing up our plans. And it's making our job yeah. harder. The timing couldn't have been worse. Now what are we supposed to do? Come on. There are plenty of leads that don't involve grilling the culprit. Yeah? I'd like to hear them. Well, if it were me, I'd start with Sauriku. Okay. Huh? The first thing I want to learn is whether Ehara is really the murderer in this footage. Given the entire sexual battery incident as an alibi, there is no way he could have murdered Mikoshiba. Yeah, However, this new footage but... knocks the bottom out of that premise. Right. Either his alibi or the murder footage. One of the two's been fabricated. I find it hard to... Hmm... It would be pretty hard to doctor the groping footage because there was a the lady that he did it to called him out specifically and it was recorded on a bystander's phone so that's out the question but me personally i don't doubt the murder footage but that'd be the only logical choice right here though But even then, how would you fabricate the damn murder footage? Because look, look okay, let's let's slow down and, and and look at it this way, right? So the murder footage. He was already when I say he, I mean Mikashiba. He was already screaming and pleading and begging for his life. Right? And he was hurt. He was bruised. He was tied to the damn chair. And he had the knife. Cut his throat. And then he bled out. And then walked over, took the biker helmet off, and showed his face, okay? That would be pretty hard to fake through and through. But then the groping incident would also be hard to fake. Unless... But... If it was a setup... Then... Why would you set up an orchestrated... So he could have his alibi... Son of a bitch. I think we should revisit the harassment case. When the sentence came down in court, no one expected it to end up as a murder alibi. Plus, everyone suspected Ahara was working alone. He may have not been. All this makes a huge difference. No one would suspect a train groping to involve accomplices or alibis. The search for evidence wouldn't be as intense as for a murder. 
But the entire incident was caught on camera, top to bottom. There's more than enough physical evidence, too. Then we'll need to verify each and every aspect of the case. Okay, what first? Should we investigate the crime scene again? Maybe we'll discover something new if we check out the station during the crime's actual time frame. No, I think we saw everything we could there. Actually, if we're reviewing evidence, we could do that from right here, couldn't we? What catches your eye specifically? I ask because fabricated evidence would likely show signs of tampering. This would prove Ahara's alibi doesn't hold up. Hmm. That's clearly not it. That's not it. That's not it. No. no. We've seen that enough times. That one blind spot that hmm this part's still getting to me the blind spot right the Shinjuku station diagram did something happen at the platform well the majority of the incident was caught on camera but there's a little bit right there that but didn't. I don't think we have any footage of what happened around here it's not much but it's a blind spot all the same Hoshino Kun and I confirmed that at the scene Okay, but how would this blind spot change anything? The first thing that comes to mind is, gives Ahara a chance to swap with the stand-in. The real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba in Yo! 730, then headed to Shinjuku Station. Then, just after 9 o'clock, he swapped places with the stand-in, getting caught on purpose. So you're suggesting that there were two Aharas So Shinjuku it is a body station. double situation! Yeah. And the true assailant, the Ahara lookalike, disappeared into the crowd. Motherfucker! Wait, if what you propose is true, does that mean Ahara never touched the victim? Yeah. But the police inspection revealed trace fibers from the victim's clothing on Ahara's hand. Ugh, trace inspection. Yeah, so no matter what, the fact that Ahara touched the victim remains standing. Damn the it. victim felt his hand reach under her skirt right after the train departed Ikebukuro. She was scared motionless for the entire commute, until arriving at Shinjuku Station. Could you describe the victim for me? She's an office worker, married to an industrial designer. Also has a six-year-old son. Full name, Yui Mamiya. 30 years old. <sighs> a wife and mother. Perhaps if we talk to Mamiya-san directly, she could give us more insight than that video. She may even recall something none of us know, upon learning Ahara's alibi might have been fabricated. That's a good plan. We'll finally have a fresh source of info. In that case, give me a moment so I can get a meeting set up. We should have her address and other information somewhere on file. Bear in mind, Mamiya-san was the victim here. As the assailant's defense, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. That's pretty standard for us, I'd say. Nobody rolls out the red carpet for a detective. Right? Yeah. Say, Kaito-san, looks like we've got some free time, so let's say we grab some food. Now that you mention it, I am getting hungry. I'm hungry too. I was just getting ready to say, why hasn't the music stopped yet? <sighs> I was right to think early on that there would be like a body double situation. Huh. But now I just have to prove that. You think they want something? Somehow. Bet it's not a friendly hello. They do look like they mean business. This arcade's idea of an ambush? How basic. 
Kaito san. There's more. Over there, too. Wow. Same losers from yesterday. Guess they want to settle the score. Looks like they rounded up some buddies and waited for us to show. Well, whatever the hell they want, let's not get Genda Sensei and them involved. Follow me. Okay. They really just followed us like that. With this shit. Why haven't they made a move yet? It's like they're waiting for something. Whatever it is, they've taken their sweet ass time. Hey! Quit dicking around and come get some! What oh, the wow. hell? They're just gonna keep stalking us? Nope. Thanks for waiting, assholes! Oh, oh shit! Oh, hi, Yuri Lowenthal. Let me guess. You're RK2? Bastard went straight for our heads. Are you nuts, guy? Shut your mouth! Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Goodbye. <laughs> anyway. It's one down. Come on. Come on, come get your ass beaten. Not out of the woods just yet. Really went all out on the backup. Is the whole town arcane now or something? Doc, we should probably get gone before the cops are all in. Why? It's not our fault we're getting jumped. Good point. Come at us in waves. <laughs> I've about had it with this crap. Yeah. At this rate, we won't be meeting Sorry Son and the others. Wouldn't want to drag them into this. Point. So why not hit Arcade at home? Yeah? Why not? Hey man, that so squat position is very comfortable once you get used to doing it. I'll just ask him real nice to keep their goons off our back. Unless you want to keep dealing with these fucking scrubs. I'm fine with making a house call. Any idea where it is? Yeah, the club in the back of Theater Square. It used to be arcade exclusive. Nowadays, I hear they let in thugs from all over. I admit, I'm kind of curious. Sweet! I'll gladly take an excuse to do that. That to someone. <laughs> Dumbass. And stay down. 
Next. <laughs> Come here. Really, guys? <laughs> I'm going to hit something, all right. Gotcha, bitch. What a waste. Neat. Okay, I should probably go to where I'm supposed to be going. But I can just keep fighting. Bye now. Really, guys? Feels good, man. Fifty. Oh boy. Eh. Hello. Even if you ragdoll physics are all away from me, you're not escaping. You will never get away from me. Things take time, Kaito. Not a knife. Defeated. Really, guys? Oh, hey, a purple guy.
<laughs> Get biked. What a waste. All right, it appears we have made it to our destination. This is it, Tuck. Get ready to meet some shady people. Yeah, shady is definitely the operative word here. Can't imagine this place gets a lot of foot traffic. Who knew an entrance to the underground was right here in broad daylight? All right, let's get in there and be done with this. Hey, you got it, bro. Hey, who the hell are you two? Got some invitations? The Yagami Detective Agency doesn't need any. Say, is Akutsu or Soma around? Detectives, huh? There a problem here? This is a public business, isn't it? About time you showed up. We've been expecting you. Oh, really? <laughs> Nothing like running into an old friend. You want to talk to Akutsu-san, fine. But only Kaito gets in. Why? See, we all knew the Yakuza out in the cold would come around to us once the Tojo clan cleared out. Really? <laughs> know what makes us such a hit? Who gives a shit? We got a system fleshed out. Your average gangbanger starts at rank F. But an ex-Yakuza, a Tojo head at that, fast track right to B-rank. Oh. And just for you, Kaito-san. The boss says he'll start you out at A. And you want yeah, him to care about I'm this? Sure Why? Pick of the chumps. But I'm here to talk to a fucking adult man. So get stepping and take me to Akutsu. Spoken like a man with some balls. I can see why Akutsu's had his eye on you. What? So I really have to just wait in the lobby? You should thank your lucky stars you're not dead yet. I don't uh -huh. know about this, Kaito-san. What if you need backup? Relax, Tak. All I gotta do is talk man-to-man -man with Akutsu real quick, and we'll be out of here. You heard the man. Now come on. Oh, it's gonna be that quick. I'll just wait right here. <laughs> do whatever you want. You're shit for business. Ah, oh, come on. Fuck Don't you. you want to be friends? Hey, uh, think I could use your restroom? There's one inside, right? Go shit on the cement for all I care. Wow. Restrooms are for guests only. So. You and RK2? I take it business is good lately. Oh, hell yeah. Recruits are swarming in by the dozen. If you're looking for quick cash and combo, Joe, RK's where it's at. Plenty of hotties, too. <laughs> this is wow. just a fucking pickup group. And all you do is fool around on your phone. Talk about living on easy street. Screw you. Hey, not my fault they don't loop you into the good jobs. Bet those only go to the A-rank guys. You must be, what, F? F-minus? <laughs> the fuck did you just say? I oh, insulted did I you. offend you? Sorry. Guess some gangbangers are softies. I'll show you who's soft, asshole! Damn! Sorry. Getting split up from my buddy does make me kind of an asshole. <laughs> What? Oh. Okay.
All right, homie, you be smooth. Take it easy, and I will see you on the next stream. And take care of yourself. Eat some food and drink some water. duct in here somewhere uh-huh oh hey hey I think moving that safe would be a bad idea but it'd be really funny if that was the option or I could use these boxes Some Spider Man shit. Oh, look, an item. Hey, where'd that new guy get taken to? Uh, I heard Akutsu san wanted to see him. For real? Was he taken to the VIP room then? Sounds like it. Psh, even I've never gotten in there. What makes him such a big shot? Interesting. Take his clothes? I think we're gonna get the drop on him and take his shit. Or if I could keep going that way. Okay, now I just have to make sure I don't raise any suspicion. Meaning, I need to get down there somehow. I need. Hmm. If I took the bartender's clothes, that means. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. That means I need to act as if I am a bartender for this place, right? That would only make sense. Hey, uh, can I ask you a question? What's inside the safe in the back room? Huh. Who knows? All I do know is that it's locked. But I heard once you hit rank C, they tell you the passcode. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I think I might know the passcode, actually. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? I overheard some rank B dude talking over the phone. <laughs> he 
He said the safe opens with the numbers that represent RK. Numbers that represent RK? You mean like the amount of members? Maybe? I have no idea. But he did say that R is 18. R is 18? Huh? I don't get it at all, man. Eleven. Oh, neat. Uh, what was that safe room? It was back this way. Oh, well, no one's looking at me crazy, so no one should say anything if I keep going this way, right? Wow. These guys are super lax, bro. Anyway, what's in here? Are those better than what I have on right now? Uh, Defense-wise, yeah, but not for anything else. I'll keep them, though. Thanks for the free pants. Anything at this bar that I can know? They're just letting me walk around like this? Hi. Uh, yes? Can I help you? You better stop fucking around. Didn't I ask you for another round? Huh? Uh, another round? You forgot my order already? I want my bottle. Y yeah. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Wait a minute. What? You know what? Fuck the bottle. How about you just mix me a cocktail? But of course. <laughs> he looks so natural at this. Then again, he did used to work at a bar. Here, sir. Damn, that got him fucked up off one cocktail? How often does he turn where he's looking at? I could just gun it, but I feel like that would be a bad idea. Too close. Shit, shit, shit.
Shut up, 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 shut up. Alright. Taking that, bud. Damn it! I had no idea he was looking that way. And I couldn't turn her. Oh man, alright. I I I should have turned the camera to where I knew he would well if I remembered he was over there I should have turned my camera that way. Oh well. That guy. Oh, I can't do a takedown on him. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Go to sleep. All right. Take a nap, bud. I just like smoke them. That's a good boy. Okay. You gonna move? That resolved. Time out. Neat. <laughs> I hate to say it, Akutsu. I'm in a price bracket you couldn't afford if you wanted to. I'm not saying you'd need to call it quits on the detective gig you've got going, Kaito-san. You can just give us a hand, help us out a bit when RK needs some real muscle on the field. That a fucking joke? On what planet would I sign up for more busy work? Think you might want to tone it down there, big guy? No, fuck you. I've got my boys in the room. Being talked to like this isn't a good look. Why would you care how you look? You're a bunch of damn Yakuza. You and Soma are picking up the Tojo clan scraps, yeah? Or do you have a real plan? We'd have the manpower if we wanted to. So where With is all it? all your washed up Yakuza and punk ass kids? I don't see it happening, man. What are you fucking thinking? Exactly why we need more guys like you. No. Help me show this crew how the big boys roll. I need some authority on this to get it built the right way. So you want me on as a drill sergeant for scumbags? Count me out. <laughs> Kamurocho's underground river of cash is still flowing, but there's no more Tojo clan upstream to collect it all. There's no more rules. We can run this town however the fuck we want. And once we've got ours, we can slip back into civilian lives to live it up clean as a whistle. You want to be a civilian again? You're kidding. Oh, yeah. Want to have the cash to buy your favorite store, pop out a couple of kids and settle down with a family? Never would have been possible in the Yakuza life. Well, why the fuck would you need me to do that? After you step into the shadow of the underworld, you never really escape from those chains. Don't sell me your bullshit like I'm one of your fucking brats. Huh. Sounds to me like your whole damn pitch just ran out of gas. 
Go out there and build your dream gang if you want. I don't give a shit. That said, if you keep bugging me about this shit, I'm gonna make sure you regret it. Tell him, Kaito. Keep your fucking distance from us. Did you say us? Are you refusing to join up because you have a partner? Bring Yagami along for all I care. Nah. Did you hear a word of what I just said? I'd reconsider that stance if I were you. If you aren't coming along as a friend, then you're my enemy. You are already enemies. Take work from assholes. Have it your way then. Hey, round up the boys. Sir. Hey, get off your asses. Hi. Too late for that. I knew exactly how this little chat was going to go down. Son of a... <laughs> yeah, well, I knew exactly where you'd be for a chat you weren't invited to. Well, if you're done over there, shall we get back down to business? You're not walking out of here. Yes, I am. Uh, if you don't know how to use that thing, you're going to cut yourself, man. Are you sure? You fuckers are the ones who don't know shit. This whole damn town belongs to the arcade now, you know. Uh-huh, whatever you say. Town belongs to you, huh? You fucking morons. You're gonna have to pry this town out of my hands! Punk. Hey, quit dragging your ass. Right. Sorry, boss. No! Fuck them up, boys! What the hell was that? Dumbass. Dumbass, you down already? <laughs> no, sir. Come on, let's fucking do this. Hmm. Alright, that might present a little bit of a problem. Yeah, relax with that, homie. There we go. Come here. Wow. 
Wait your turn. Goodbye. Now I understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah. We can do that. Huh? We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? <laughs> Just checking in. What the fuck? <sighs> you made quite a mess here. Oh. Tak meets Soma. He's the leader of the RK. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Damn. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't have been easy, man. I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd had the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yakami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the media term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. Yeah, okay. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Dude, we can't tell you that from the job. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Bye bye now. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamarucho more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, uh, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Damn. Considering Kamarucho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <laughs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. I guess we shouldn't have taken our case so lightly, even though they're new to the scene. Yeah. Supposedly, some is the one who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex Tojo. Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan shark, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full time bodies so far, but if you include part timers and other associates, they may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. I will fight Even every single one of them. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it was an RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamurocho, huh? Yeah. Sorry, son's calling. Hello? It's Shiosaki. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in ECK Bukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. 
to you sooner than later, I hope. I caught you got it. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. I'm heading there right now. I have to skateboard again. Ah, man. Oh, perfect timing, Yagami-san. Anything for you. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Well, the best we can hope for is that she'll hear us out. Yeah, you got that right. Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. Not really. Let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. Yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office, the attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? We have a good reason. I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, <laughs> a detective helping Sari here out. And? Um. Hmm. I don't really... Huh. Sweet talking here is definitely out the fucking question. Um... Quick and simple would be the best one? I know in your eyes we're just scumbag lawyers defending perverts in court. It was just a paycheck to them, you're thinking. And yes, why should you care? Wow. It's like you... Read my mind. If you're so perceptive, shouldn't you know it's time to leave? Wait, that's not what I meant at all. Look, that was just an opener. Okay. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you. Why again. wasn't that the quick All and simple response? Man. How absurd. We're only trying to help. But if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? You said ten minutes if we do it now, right? Well, make oh, hey. it as painless as possible. All right. It worked. 
We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Anything for you. No, let's not. Anything at all. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya san. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. Okay, bye bye. Goodbye. We'll make this quick. A nice bike. Suspicious. Bro got a little tiny jungle gym in the house? What do you mean, bro? I wish I had one of those in the house. Huh. Go to bed. Don't mind me, just gonna look at your laptop. What the? Tell the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No, what you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. <laughs> Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but... Where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At, at least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. In the security footage as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time. 
thinking it was normal for the train to be that packed. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Yeah? Why would you say that and look at me? <laughs> I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait We're almost done, little bro. We're almost done. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the Groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. And, and I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. Wait, then how did you... But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. Oh. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station's security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed. That man grabbed me. I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out. So I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? Well, on the same day, at 6.30 a.m. in Yokohama, a student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother. But he was soon abducted near his home, only to be found dead much later in Ichincho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, but instead, took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's torment. That's awful. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. Right. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was, in fact, your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... Who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today.
Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. Hmm. I'd like to report Mamiya-san's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Yeah, sure. it's gonna be right behind you. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right, then I'll see you there. Yo, it's me. Hey, I just got back to Comrade Joe. Everything good? Any news? All good here, man. What's with you? You worried our kid got to me or something? I mean, they did run their mouths about stabbing us in the back. But if you're good, I'm good. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda so Sari-san and I can go over what we learned from Mamiya. You're the boss. As for me, I'm calling it a day. <laughs> you do that. Alrighty. Are we ready, Yagami-san? Yes, we Let's are. Let's start with our visit to Mamiya-san, if that sounds reasonable to you. Yeah, let's start there. So, the victim's story is completely in line with her court testimony, huh? That's correct. There wasn't anything new to pick up. Unfortunately. In which case, should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that tape's fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Uh-huh. Do we have any theories on who that might be? For the people that Ahara are working with. Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what you see in the footage. Which means... It's real. murderer's accomplices have to be the ones who posted it for him. Right. Yeah. I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Hmm? Huh? We know Ihara got himself convicted for groping, so he'd have an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. Right. I see. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting them. That's well and good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example, the true culprit would be taped murdering Mikashiba. Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. Right. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then, wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Not if it's Sukumo done by professionals. That he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. Also that. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. Then let's tackle this from the stance that the video is actually real. If that's the case. There has to be a flaw in the groping issue. I the think blind spot enough evidence to at find the it train station. Before meeting with Yui Mamiya, didn't you mention the possibility of Ahara using a stand-in? Perhaps the real Ahara murdered Mikoshiba in Ijincho, then swapped places with the imposter so he could be detained. But we couldn't find an opportunity for the swap to happen, remember? The blind spot the at the train station. On the Ikebukuro platform, Ahara was constantly on camera. But wait, that's not entirely accurate, is it? No. Huh? Remember how we mocked up a diagram on the Shinjuku station platform? Yeah. No, oh, wait, that's it. 
You could be onto something. Yes, I am. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. Mm hmm. What is this point you speak of? Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see <clears throat> this right here. It's very brief, but there's a moment where Ahara and Mamiya san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying this is where the Groper, the fake Ahara, traded places with the real one? Correct. Can't say it's impossible, right? Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Could the two really swap places without her noticing? It's not like it's like very that. hard to do. I think it's feasible. Yeah. If that really was Ehara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. That means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ahara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh, I mean, yeah! Called it. Think about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi? Because they're all working to together. A crucial component to chance, as Hoshinokun pointed out. Oh, just doing my job. True. Good work, Hoshinokun. In fact, I think that may back up my own take on it. Yeah? What if everything, including the appearance of leaving the plan to chance, was part of the plan? Can you expound on that? I'm saying I agree that such an airtight alibi wouldn't have allowed for contingencies. Yeah. And that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? What did we miss? That the woman and Ahara are working together. I know this won't go over well, but what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along? Huh? Bear with me. Think about it. Let's say Mamiya was in on this and knew about the imposter in advance. If that's the case, the swap could happen right in front of her and no one but the three of them would know. Right! You're saying the victim of a groping conspired with her assailant beforehand? That's ridiculous! That's the only way all this lines up, though. That that's the only way. Let me just say, I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that would be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand-in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. We can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so. She could have even called attention to the real Ahara the moment he stepped in. That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. I hate to pause, but during that brief moment that the smartphone recording went down, could that have been when the swap took place? The rest is as we know it. They caught Ihara and detained him. Because, because, like, that also just so happens to line up with where the blind spot was in the cameras. Hold that thought. If your theory hmm. is accurate, what about Ihara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, that can also be explained by Mamiya being in on the plan. For example, while the stand-in was showing himself at the security camp, Mamiya could have easily provided Ahara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Oh, shit. I didn't even think Maybe about that part. Maybe the stand-in loitered around for so long because he was letting everyone else get themselves in place. It's not impossible. We can work out the other details later. But the point is, Ahara's murder alibi is shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary... It's possible Ihara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for Mikushiba's murder. 
I'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing. And when it comes to the prosecution, they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong. Plus, they can't question Ahara about Mikoshiba's murder. In fact, their only option is to claim the tape was faked. Right. So he managed to make a farce out Damn. of the system after all. Well, his court case for his son's bullying did get more or less That is out, truly yeah. thinking School 20 steps ahead, bro. And the court Shit. All there wasn't enough evidence to convict anyone. No surprise for me that the guy held a grudge against the system for so long. Hold on. Before we all decide on this. What's up? The obvious question to me is why would Mamiya be party to such a crime? She appears more than financially stable. And she's even raising a child. So why would she do something so enormously risky as helping establish a murder alibi? Yeah, I haven't gotten that far yet. But maybe she was promised something that far exceeds the risk. Or maybe Ahara has some kind of dirt on her, even? What could that possibly be? Help with a murder? What sort of secret would be big enough to force someone into that corner? Hmm. What info do we have on Mamiya, anyway? Maybe we can spot a connection to Ahara through her profile. I'll pull her information. Just a second. Oh, I just thought of something else those two would have guaranteed by working together. What's that? What? If Ahara wanted to use this crime as a murder alibi, he needed it to blow up into the public eye. But if he had chosen a victim who stayed silent, then nothing would have come of it. A solid plan would need to eliminate that variable, which means Mamiya being an accomplice was crucial to Ahara's success. That's true. Looks like Ahara pulled one over on the prosecution then. Had his accomplices right where he wanted them, even his victim. Once we learn how he's connected to Mamiya, we can root out the rest of his team. Let's see. According to her file, her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. 30 years old, so that's consistent. Originally from Ota, Tokyo. Attended a private high school called Kurakawa Academy. Later graduated from Toto University. Huh. Wait a minute. Met her husband on the job, apparently. Was... Was, was Kurakawa Academy the name of the academy that those guys with the binoculars went to? Her husband, Taichi Mamiya, is an industrial designer at Techno Zeta Inc. Six years ago, she gave birth to their only son, Sotaku, who's now in first grade. Hold on. You said she went to Kurakawa Academy? I heard that name in Ijinchu. I was right. I was right. I, I was right. Correctly. When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys watching the detectives and me. They told us they were just checking things out. Wait a minute. They mentioned they're Kurakawa grads, too. Do you have any ID on you? Uh, will my license work? Akake-san, age 30. Akaike-san, age 30. Mommy is 30 as well. Wait. What's that got to do with anything? Aren't we trying to find a connection between Mamiya and Ahara? I found the Kurakawa Academy Did they? website. Looks like they're pretty prestigious. Go to the... It's in Tokyo, specifically in Ota. Pretty close to where Mamiya lives. Get the fuck out of here. What? The girls there get such cute uniforms. You little... You want to start all over from the bar exam? Wait. I've seen that uniform before too, actually. Where? On an old picture of a teacher at Serio High. Sawasetsu. Ahara's son who confided in her. Did is she actually a Kurakawa grad too? They all go to the same fucking school. I don't know Sawa Sensei's exact age, but she could well be thirty. Maybe all of them. Are no way, people. bro. Could this mean they're actually linked, the victim and her up to now unrelated assailant? It's a tenuous link at best. Could fall apart any time, but no true detective alive would pass it up. They...
so they all either all went and graduated from the same damn school or they all knew each other during their school year but if that's the case then Oh. <laughs> huh. A previously unseen link is established between the groper and the victim. Charting out their relationship is akin to tracing a spider's web. But with each false thread ruled out, only the improbable truth remains. Ehara orchestrated the groping as a diversion. Right. And by tarnishing his name, he secures both an alibi and his ultimate revenge. Damn. Oh, this is getting better and better by the minute. Hiro Mikashiba's murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ehara, who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ehara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know the father had accomplices. On October 7th at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle, took him to an abandoned building, and gravely injured him. Then, around 7.30 a.m., the time frame when Ahara killed Mikoshiba, the other conspirators were probably nearby, even though they weren't on camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, a man who looks like Ahara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. The stand-in made sure he was in front of the cameras for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train. The same one Yui Mamiya was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ahara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. For what reason, though? Mamiya, Ahara standing on the train, the guys who kidnapped Mikashiba. How did some troubled cop manage to recruit so many allies? Well, one person that comes to mind who might be the key to all this is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever told about the bullying and she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Those trespassers at the murder scene were also from Kurokawa. So they all went to the same fucking school. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Uhara's murder accomplices? If we consider Yokosawa the central link, that's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshiro-kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ehara take his revenge. Yeah, that's not to rule that out. Oh, I'm hoping that's not the case. I hope so, too. It's just... She's a really good Especially teacher. Especially enough to that fucking... She's passionate, responsive... Teary-eyed breakdown she had on the first. roof. I know she regrets the past. A student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikoshiba, is found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. Yagami. I'm going back to Ejinsho tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sawa Sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Uh, can I chime in real quick? I was looking into Kurokawa Academy and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. Being? What's that? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. 
Oh, the kid in the, the coma that she told me about. The school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. Actually, Sawa Sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right, that's gotta be the same case then. The student's name was Mitsuru Kuzumoto. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. Really? Ever heard the name Reiko Kusumoto? Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Hmm. Well, do you remember the uproar in the health ministry when Vice Minister Ichinose got arrested? Yeah. Apparently, his successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos, which is when Kusumoto-san got tapped to lead. They couldn't afford another criminal scandal, so her promotion was out of the blue. She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention, her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure. Very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. Huh. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook, if you ask me. No, absolutely not. Okay, so Kusumoto's son. What exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Man, what the hell? Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. That's so cruel. For no reason, yeah, bro. the teacher was a real piece of work. Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo it. Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. If they were classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsuru-kun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa-sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. Right. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. Oh, you can say that again. Okay. On that note, I am going to stop for today.